didn't see. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, so, real quick, I want to go ahead and explain where I've been for a bit. Um, I'm currently saving up for a PC, so these two videos I'm going to do with these two, who run the YouTube channel Cooking by the Book. You have my big sister and my brother-in-law. Um, anyways, but um, I'm saving up for a PC, that way me and Landon and Alex can all sit there and be in a Discord call and not have the crappy phone audio that's going through the same microphone that I'm going through and all that. So, uh, that's what's taking so long with the videos for the roleplay. And, uh, with that, I think, let's start the taste test. Chip challenge! Yeah, they decided to get a whole bunch of chips from a great store, Mr. Chin's. Mr. Chin's back in T-Town. Yeah, uh, they went and got food from Mr., well, chips from Mr. Chin's. And, uh, they have decided to bring them to me and see how I fare. So Mr. Chin's is one of our favorite Asian markets back in our hometown. Um, and they have some of the best snacks around. So we decided to pick out some of our favorite chips and bring them for Daniel to try. You ready? I'm afraid. Good. Which one of us pulls the first bag? Oh! I thought I was about to get hit for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. I'm gonna reveal the bag to the camera. Daniel? I think I know what flavor that your is. It's like one of those makeup vloggers. Are, are they still a thing? Yeah, to a degree. <laughs> alright. I think I know what flavor it is, though. No! My no! I'm not letting you feed me. No, I'm gonna feed you. Oh, I'm not gonna feed you. I just wanted to get the bag open. Alright. A chip? I have my eyes closed, so you're good. A chip? A chip. Chip cheers? Think. Okay. I think I know what Ready? flavor this is. Alright. Sniff it, lick it, do whatever you gotta. It's cucumber. I mean, yeah, but... I remember the bag from earlier. Trust me, you need a second chip. You have to have the second chip. It enhances the experience. Look at her full body. <laughs> I don't think I like that one. No? It's it grew cucumber, on me. Cucumber chip is a no go. I don't think. Uh, one out of five. How many chips? How many chips out of five? I'll give it the two that I had. Two chips? Two chips, two chips out of five. Yeah. Two out of five. Mm -hmm. we'll Cucumber Lays gets a two out of five chip. Oh, sorry. Alright. So, our next flavor is a flavor that we really enjoy. So, I mean, I can see that. Isn't that one the fish one? Shut up, Dan! <laughs> Really they missed. showed me all of the chip bags beforehand, <laughs> and I'm going off of what I remember. I only remembered like three flavors. So, we have a chip, a chip, a chip. For those of you that don't know, I don't like fish. I'm very public about this opinion. Very tasty. All right. Okay, chip cheers. Go ahead. Second chip. Y'all know the barbecue one? Yeah. That's what this tastes like. It's, it does have a kind of barbecue vibe. It's very vibe. similar, but they're my favorite chips, so. They're more salty than the barbecue and a lot less sweet. And these are roasted fish, so. So good. You know, yeah. chip or... Now. How many chips? I'll give that one a. 
Four out of five. Four out of four five, out of five chips. Yeah. chips. So we have a four and an eight right now out of ten. This is true. I'm not going to say it's a ten out of ten because okay. I mean, this one I don't is. I think Angley's chips are ten out of ten. Yeah. Salt and no. vinegar chips. Salt and vinegar lace chips are ten out of ten. Not like oh, that. Like Bold. Bold answer. Anyway. So these are actually ones that uh, oh, Alex and I uh, haven't keep tried. Some of the, uh, cucumber ones off to the side. What? I'll keep some of the cucumber ones off to the side for the next video. You know, with the cooling sensation might not be That's a That's what idea. I'm thinking. Okay. So. This is the flavor. Daniel, do you remember what bag this one is? Wasn't that one the tomato one? Daniel ruins all of my bags. <laughs> anyway. Joke's on you, I learned that to read Wait, is that one tomato? Or is it the Italian right now? No, this, this one's the Mexican chicken tomato flavor. Mexican chicken tomato. So so it's on the flavor. You can tomato. Fun tomato fact. Flavor. I don't like tomato either. Alex and I haven't I tried this one yet. I don't several like of these we haven't tried. But... This is a great experience for all of us. I don't like anything with tomato, so I'm... Do you like chicken? I do like chicken. Okay. Why do mm -hmm. I feel like these are going to make me cry? If because they're, the, they're, the, they're, the they're so good. It, have y'all ever had the dried chicken chips? No. It kind of smells like the dried chicken chips. That's really good. It shouldn't be that good. Let me get another one. Get back in there. That's good. They taste like the baked lays you can get at school. I like that. A little bit. It's kind of sweet. And tomato's sweet. Pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting spicy. I can understand that. Okay. We're going to go down the line and rate it out of five chips. Mm, I'd say probably solid three out of five. It's a little too sweet. I'll go with a uh, 2.5. I'm going to give it a solid 2.5 chips. Um, it, it is a little bit sweet, and sweet I, don't, I don't like tomatoes to begin with either. With the fact that I'm so forced to eat chips that kind of tastes like that on a daily basis if I want chips at school. <laughs> um, I'm going to roast a fish to wash down yeah. sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. I, might, I might elevate it up to three chips. No. I'm giving it a 2.5. All right. The school system has ruined those. Because like, all I can picture now are those baked Lay's okay. chips. That Time out. Awful. Time out. All right, party people. Are we basing this off of our personal enjoyment of the chip or, or off of how well it tastes like what it says it is? So personal I'm, enjoyment. I'm doing this off of personal enjoyment. Yeah. Okay. So, so am I. If we're going but, off of taste, it's a zero out of ten because it doesn't that, taste that like, didn't have any it Mexican tasted, It tasted like tomato though. It had tomato, but it didn't have I mean, the Mexican didn't, chicken. Didn't, yeah, you you missing out. You missing two out of three. Okay, the... listen, listen. I'm actually going to give it a four on flavor because it did encapsulate it did encapsulate the tomato flavor properly. It did. Wait, wait. It felt like it tasted like biting into a tomato. <laughs> Hear me out, though. Tomatoes aren't that sweet. Some tomatoes are. Actually, I'm not going to correct that. Um, um, where the chicken came in, while it didn't have, like, an overly chickeny flavor, it did go ahead and, like, it had the smell of the chicken chips. And so I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four out of five. You're rating the experience. I hear you. Do not, do not throw that at me. No, I Don't hear you. Don't throw that at me. But let me raise you. Brown star! Brown what? Star? Brown star. Turd star. Ooh. No. It had the tomato flavor. It did not have any of the chicken flavor. It, He's been it, it was missing the Hispanic flavors. There, there was it no Mexican enough, flavor and no chicken. Savory. No. It was way too sweet. That they focused way too much on the tomato. Not I want to give it chicken. points for having tomato flavor. <laughs> a one out of five on it. <laughs> it gets a one out of five, yeah. But it just missed the other two yeah. ones. It Brown I've been overruled. Alright, so our next flavor is... Dan, can you guess which flavor this was? This is a bag of chips that more us rather, but... 
I don't remember, I'm gonna be honest. Was that one the squid? No, this one is not squid. This one is fried crab. So That's what it was. It was... So. I actually... I'm... Have you not had it, people? No. So so most of these, besides the fried fish and the, no, the roasted fish and the cucumber, we haven't had this one either. So... Alright, good smell, flavor. It good could be smell. a whole chip. Yeah. Alright. Jan went right back in for another chip. Another three. That is just like crab. This like tastes it. like the one roll of sushi that I'll actually eat. Hey, mom. Yes. Come here. No. Please come here. No. <laughs> it's fr It's a fried crab chip. No. I'm going to run one too. <laughs> no. That tastes like a fried crab. It tastes like fried crab. I'm I'm honestly gonna say this one's a, a solid four out of five because I enjoy this. I enjoy the the roasted the meaty flavors, but also four out of five because it actually tastes like crab and it, that it's fried. It tastes like most of the elements, if not all of them. Yeah. Did she eat the fried crab chip. I handed it to her. It's up to her now. That is fair. Maybe another chip. Yeah. Very good. It's very good. Okay. So Dan, four? what are you rating it? A five? A five out of five? A five point wow. five? Dan gives it. Or five out of five. Full five chips? Dan gives the fried crab a five out of five that chips. That is the only one that I will actually go looking I, for next time that I'm at like a specialty. I'm gonna give so, it a four point five out of five. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Good chip, good um, good experience, and a great flavor. And it actually tastes like what it says. And it actually has that kick that the Mexican Chicken chips were missing. So this one is actually kind of, I don't know what this one's going to taste like, but there is a very similar one. flavor off. <laughs> I haven't even turned the bag around, man. Mm-hmm. Bro. You didn't do a good job of covering it up. Yeah, I know, but like, so there's <laughs> technically, um, an equivalent already on the shelves, but let's see if this one tastes any different. I'm going out the flavor. It's lime flavor. Oh, I need help. No. <laughs> very loud. I'm very, I'm very bad at opening up bags of chips, despite we really are. Of choosing the flavor. Does it smell like lime? So far, I've actually liked all these. Really? I mean, some not as much as others, but. but... <laughs> okay, I get, smells I get, like one. I get one smell. Chip cheers. Woo! Okay. Actually, really enjoy that. I'm. It reminds me of Q on Pie. This one's not as sour as the one. No, marketed the, in the, the U.S. Limon. The yeah, limon. the limon. I'm. Those I'm are also spicy. Anyone, anyone want some more? Yeah, I'll take another one. Oh yeah, these are good. This, this actually, this is kind of banging, and it does have a little bit of the cooling effect that the cucumber does, but not to the I'm same much. degree. We just got two fives in a row for me. I'm gonna oh, be yeah. honest. <laughs> Jane calls I like five out of five for the lemon. Okay, if we're going taste, I'm, if we're going like accuracy wise, it's. Not very accurate. But I mean, it's it, it lacks some of the sour that lime would have, but I think it captures the sweetness of lime. More it's closer to key lime. Mm -hmm. You're right with the key lime pie. It's, it's delicious. Key lime. And it's really good. I'm looking at the ingredients to see if they if they put crack in these. I mean In fact they did not. However, this is delicious. Mm. I would like to go on record that the lime seasoning conti contains lemon juice. Wow. Okay, well. And I think that that's kind of funny, though. That's pretty cool. Great, last. Thomas, yeah, we're on the next to last ship. So, Dan, if you can remember which one these are. That one's soft, plus. This, oh, all right, it's so, squid. So this squid. is grilled squid flavor. I actually like, the, I like the, what the bag looks like, because it's kind of groovy. Yeah, it's groovy because it's, it's got groove. 
It's got bruise. It does. It, it does. It does have ruffles. It, it does have bruise. No copyright. I'm not even sure what game. This one has a really bold smell. Give me a lime one real quick. Uh, what do you like another lime? Really like the smell on them, but it it smells like the good barbecue chips. It does smell like the good barbecue chips. Chip cheers. It's very easy. Woo. Okay. Like a lot of seasoning First on one. It. First one I'm giving. Mm -hmm. Don't on it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Damn, gives the squid a zero. First out of five. one on this side, too. Wow. That's upsetting. I. I don't know. It. No, given I know what grilled squid is supposed to taste like. I don't know if this tastes like grilled squid, though. I don't like it. It tastes like Old Bay seasoning and fish sauce. That's why I don't like it. I don't like fish sauce. Roast lamb pepper. I'm going to give it a 2.5. No, yeah, I'll, I'll bump it up to a 2. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. I don't know if the flavor kind of hits where it's supposed to. The flavor itself is okay. It's not right yet, but... Yeah. Oh. I'm missing Let me try this one real quick. This is the roasted fish that the boys are eating again. Oh. Very old slots. I love the roasted fish. I'll bump it up to a five. Woo! That's three fives. Oh, I just realized they have a... Uh, here's the funny part. The closest they have one... They in it. The closest one that I have come to a five in the U.S. flavors is the original. That's the only one I'll eat. So this, besides barbecue, that's also the only one I don't like barbecue. This blue is a very, very similar blue to my favorite chip, the uh, the salt and vinegar. However, this flavor shouldn't be. This one's meat, isn't it? It Italian is. Meat. This is Italian red meat flavored. Now, when when I read it, I'm like imagining like steak. Well, no, like spaghetti bolognese sauce. That's what I'm thinking of. Like a bolognese sauce. sauce. Yeah. So we're looking for spaghetti flavor. Think of it. I think of like steak. I can see that. Is it this one? Smell the smell the bag. Does it smell like no one's kitchen? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that smells like Italian red meat, but it smells like something. It has a scent. It smells. That that wasn't about the chip. That was just us no, messing that, around. That that was the. Okay, Dan's might have been about the chip. Ours was an inside joke. All right. Chip cheers. Woo. I don't know if I can bring myself to try it. It. No, you take one of the finger with me. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> And Dan is upset. Years of practice. Dan, how do you feel about the Italian red meat chip? I'm gonna be real with y'all, it's kind of underwhelming. I did not consent. I like it. I'm gonna rate it a solid 4 out of 5. Okay, I, okay, alright. I, I don't know if it's... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that it, it really hits Italian red meat flavor. It, I, I like the flavor. I kind of wish it had, this sounds awful, a more tomato-y flavor. Me hates tomatoes, also me. Do you know what this is missing? <laughs> Tomato. It's okay. Hey, wait, it it kind of tastes how spaghetti sauce should smell. Okay. Oh. Okay, are we chip stacking now? Okay. There you go.
She said is could, this for me? Yeah. Tomato, we got the tomato. Wait. I'm gonna she just, said I could use some more tomatoes, so I gave her the one that tasted identical to a tomato. The Mexican right. chicken tomato. You know, it just really is to me. The Mexican chicken tomato has no chicken on yeah, it. Yeah, it just has a tomato. And some oil. There's oil on it, too. Actually, I didn't think it was all that bad. It smells okay. a lot worse than what I thought it was going to. That didn't really affect it. It was just sweet with the with the with the flavor of meat smell. <laughs> Again, it tasted it tasted like what spaghetti sauce smells like. It was like if you said, "Hey, I've got a bite of spaghetti." Of the room, and then you're like two rooms over. And it's like not. eating white rice out of a Tupperware container that contained spaghetti last week. Yeah, okay, yeah. It, except it doesn't taste like rice. It's like if it's someone like... ate spaghetti three nights ago, and that scent lingered in the room just barely. There we are go. Are we just going to keep, are we going to keep bashing it? I like it. I'm just saying that it doesn't taste like spaghetti. <laughs> or spaghetti sauce. Bolognese. I'll give I it. hiccuped and the backwash of tomato just went and I was, uh, I'll give uh, it a 2.5. I'll give it a 3. It's about in the middle. It's a pretty good chip. Was that the, that the last one? That, 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 this is the last one. I think this one is a 2.5 for me. So what, okay. are, what are our high ranking chips for the night, guys? So, we have four. High ranking, we have roasted fish. One, and... Fried crab. You might want to take the tomato off the table. Okay, so which ones? Which ones are winner tonight? The fried crab is our winner for the evening. Pretty good chip, and really hit on the hit on the mark. What fried crab tastes like in chip form? It was what I was really wanting. It actually really hit the spot. I was wanting to get sushi earlier, and that tastes exactly like that sushi roll that I like from uh, I uh, rock and roll. You, I can promise you, this does not taste like. That yeah, tastes no, like the raw like roll stick. sushi one that I get. It tastes like crab stick. Do you no. remember the the crab salad I made? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not crab salad. Crab. It, it tastes like crab. It tastes I like mean, crab. It tastes like crab. It tastes like imitation crab, but it tastes like crab. Not too bad. Anyways. Not bad at all. With that, wh which one's our second place? So we have first place. So. I'm gonna say for actually hitting its flavor, it should be one, but I really like the roasted fish, so I'm gonna be biased. Okay. Personally speaking, I was not expecting you to like the lime at all. Mm -hmm. So I think lime deserves second place for being the, uh, the long shot. And since it's up to me at the very end, <laughs> Any mini my <laughs> And my mother chose the very best one, and you are it. Thank you. <laughs> Second place. <laughs> Second, third. The fates have chosen. Fates the fates chose. chose wrong. No, you chose wrong. There's a difference. <gasps> Anyways. So we have first, second, and third. And then there was a 4.5. What was the 4.5? I think it was the tomato. Was it the cucumber? I think it was the tomato. Was it the cucumber? Cucumber got a 2.5. Tomato. I know the squid came in last. And Did then I, I like think it was that one and this one tied. So which one do we want to go with? Cucumber first? Okay. Followed by... And here we go. So, in final conclusion, I would definitely go for these if I saw them in the store. These three, they're all really good. Personal favorites now. Uh, the fried crab, fish, which I never thought fish would be up there. Lime, tomato, cucumber. I don't like cucumber. Bruh. I'm gonna be honest. Bruh. And then we have the pasta sauce from three nights ago. 
and then followed by the worst thing to ever exist and needs it's, to be taken off shelves immediately. It's not, it's not that bad. It's literally marketed as 3 p.m. chips. What do you mean? I see that. It says 3 p.m. I guess it's supposed to be for lunch. You know, I'm going to be straight up with you. I have no idea what that means. Neither do I. I I think it's like their equivalent of 5 o'clock somewhere. You have to be drunk to like those. Maybe. I just made a lot of people mad. You know, (laughs) I, I don't know enough to argue. Anyway, it's true. I, I think that that's the way that I'm going to call it. Anyways, uh, with that, I think it's time to call the video and get prepared for the second one. Okay. So, those of you curious, you'll have to wait until next week to actually see the video. Me and him are making some bad choices and she's going to be pouring shots. Follow Alex and I on yeah. Instagram, YouTube... And anywhere else where you get your media. Very subtle insert. More than likely, Cooking I'm going to the have book. them linked in the description. I'm Cooking going to have them by the book. The we cook stuff sometimes. By the book. Yeah, maybe one day I'll do a collab video with them teaching y'all how to make my key lime pie. In his dreams. If it's in the book. It is in a book. Actually. It is in a book. What okay. book? Is it the book you wrote? No. Bad actually, book. No. No, it's actually in the other book that you gifted me. The book you wrote? No. <laughs> no, the book I didn't write. Oh, so the the southern language. Yeah. One. Yeah. Okay. It's in that one. We were gonna have to I only this made, last part out. Yeah. yeah. I only made a slight modification to it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye.